Good evening. My name is Lisa, and I am transformed. Wom I am a transformed woman thanks to the ICANN program and family. To begin with, I want to thank each and every one of you for your involvement with ICANN. Thank you for being part of my growth. I became a mother for the first time at 18 years old and a drug addict at 19. I did my best to keep my two lifestyles separate, the mother and the addict, but eventually I became an addicted single mother of five daughters. Even then, I thought for sure I had my addiction under control. I was a functioning addict. I lived a double life, a soccer mom by day and an addict by night. However, I took care of my daughters. I maintained my job and taught my girls the important things in life. You know, how to spend time with family, how to clean, maintain a house, how to cook, bake, work, morals, responsibility, and respect. Little did I know, I was also teaching them how to lie, how to manipulate, conform, be codependent, have low self-esteem, and I even set an example of how to be treated in a relationship. I promised myself and my girls that I would get better at spending quality time with them, not just doing the motherly things. I wanted so badly to be there when they woke up in the middle of the night, not out doing, selling, or making meth. I no longer wanted to be the mom that had to yell to get my point across because I had very little patience. I didn't know how to take, I didn't know how to not take my guilt and self-anger out on the ones I love most in the world. I vowed to make memories with them that I would remember as they did instead of being blurry and to stop breaking promises. I never thought that I would fulfill those promises from a prison cell, but that is when it finally happened. I was arrested in 2009 for eight drug-related drug felonies and sentenced to a total of 58 years, 21 and a half of them to be served in the Department of Corrections. Life as I knew it was over. Life as we knew it was over. My daughters were separated and became outsiders in someone else's home. Their normal, no matter how abnormal it was, was ripped from them. During the fi first five years of incarceration, I was angry and still in denial. I conformed to the ways of prison just to survive. I didn't know how to talk about how my entire family was being punished for my crimes, how my daughter's struggles were my fault. I continued to walk around with a chip on my shoulder. I made excuses for my behaviors and attitude. I blamed others, yet I claimed to be changing because I was completing programs. I learned the tools I needed to change from those programs, but I never put them to use. In 2014, I moved into the dog dorm and was absolutely shocked by the environment. People were different. I would sit on my bunk and watch my roommate train her dog. I listened to how she talked, not only to the dog, but to people. I was amazed at the peace that radiated from her in such a negative place, and I wanted that peace. I began showing interest in, the, in joining ICANN shortly after that. I quickly found out that ICANN was different. It was not just another prison program. It was a business, a potential career, and a life-changing program. And I had to prove that I was trustworthy and willing to make the behavioral changes required to even be considered. Two years later, after many discussions, I was often offered an interview to the program. I was so excited. I couldn't wait to call home. I told my daughters and my family. And just like always, they were happy for me but they didn't have any faith that I would really go through with it. I was really good at breaking promises. This was different though. I felt something so deep within me that I didn't even understand. I gave my all to that program from day one. I learned everything I could and it showed in my actions. I learned the importance of positive reinforcement instead of punishment, communication, responsibility, perseverance, respect, honesty, teamwork, patience, and trust. Being responsible for a living being 24 hours a day, seven days a week, that couldn't verbally communicate with me, well, until I learned how to speak dog language, 
that made me realize that I was never really responsible for my girls. I did the bare minimum so I could maintain my lifestyle and still call myself a mother. I learned how to communicate without yelling and that, that it actually works better. I learned that rewarding for positive behavior instead of punishment for behaviors you don't want produces better results. I gained patience, not only with the dogs, but with people as well. The very last dog I trained was named Slain. He was a 90 pound yellow lab that had one speed, his. <laughs> I have always been the hurry up and go, get it done type, but not with Slain. He was as stubborn as I was, and in order to accomplish anything, I had to find patience. I still think of him to this day, if I catch myself losing my patience, we were the greatest team. He very well could have taught me more than I taught him. I learned that communication is a key part of everything in life, and that being a team player only improves the outcome. I learned how important trust and honesty in all things are. I began to be honest with my family about the good and the bad, and it paid off. They started com commenting on changes they recognized, and that had to make that had made a difference. I realized that I could be trusted regardless of what I did or where I was, and that I deserved a chance at life. That is exactly what Carol and Sean gave me when they hired me, a chance to live. And I grabbed on with everything I had, and I still haven't let go. They gave me a chance at motherhood again, not only to the dogs I trained personally, but to all the dogs throughout those five years, and to my daughters. The relationship that I have with them today is more than I could have ever imagined. I use everything I learned while in ICANN to navigate my life still today. I no longer feel inadequate due to my previous poor choices, and I know today that when I make a mistake, I can learn from it. I teach others about the importance of positive reinforcement, communication, responsibility, and trust. I share stories of how I was not only given a chance to train dogs, but I was also given a chance to change lives. I helped change lives through the ICANN program while all along, the ICANN program was saving mine. I have been home 11 months and have already accomplished more than I thought possible. ICANN gave me the confidence to take chances in life to find what works for me. I have the greatest healthy relationship with my daughters, my grandchildren, my fiance, and my family. There's mutual trust and respect that amazes me still. I am the woman I am today because the ICANN team trusted me enough to give me that chance. So again, to each and every one of you, thank you for your part in changing lives at both ends of the leash. The ICANN program would not be who we are today without all of you. And just a reminder, every contribution, large and small, will continue to change and maybe even save lives like mine. So please do what you can at the end of the program. Thank you.